So you've been playing the piano for years and years and years and you're looking forward to your grade 8 exam but it feels like a bit of a obstacle, it feels like a bit of a hurdle. How can you get a distinction in your grade 8 exam and make all those years and years and years of hard work and practice really pay off? She used to rush around to get her there in time Hitting all the reds at every traffic sign But now she's sipping coffee and does her lessons online Can no piano cultivate, create, communicate Hi everyone, Rory from Can No Piano here. So you're working towards your grade eight and you really want to do well in it. So you may look at grade eight and think, wow, these pieces are really long. They seem really technically challenging. Am I gonna have the time to practice this? Do I have the skill to do this? So please take a moment to like, to subscribe and to press the bell notification icon to see more content like this. So the first step or the first tip is change your mind, change your music. Mindset is something in performance that is often alluded to, but something that can be very elusive. Whereas if you think about it, your fingers are always following what's in your mind. So if you change your mind, if you develop your mindset in a positive way, that's going to develop what you sound like. And one of the best ways that you can do that is to really imagine yourself playing your entire program for grade eight in its ideal form as you really want to play it. Close your eyes, take some moment, don't even touch the piano, it's all in here. Remember the fingers follow, follow what's going on in here. Close your eyes and imagine yourself playing the three pieces, your scales, your oral, everything that's involved for the grade eight and you're playing it really, really beautifully. Can you now take a moment and write in the comment section below just one challenge that you're having with grade eight. If it was just one thing that someone can help you overcome, what would that be? The second point is play to your ideal audience or your ideal listener. So I think we've all had an experience where we've played for someone or a group of people or a large audience and it's just gone amazingly. It's such an amazing experience and when we practice, and we are practicing for that person or for that audience so we're getting into that mindset our tone the way we practice our whole approach just really opens up and becomes really creative and beautiful so remember you're not playing for an examiner an examiner you know is there to do a job and you know you're thinking am i getting marks and oh, am i making mistakes you know that is a mindset that's that's going to to destroy rather than create we want to be creating so as you're practicing as you're playing you're always thinking how can I play more beautifully to communicate something to my ideal listener? Take a moment and think, who is your ideal listener? What did that look like for you in the past? Who is that person? And now you have that person, click the share button, send this video to them with a message saying, I'd love to have you around for coffee, I'd love to catch up, I'd love to chat and play for them. My third tip is to find the right teacher. So finding your ideal teacher is probably one of the most, if not the most important thing you could actually do to help you really smash your grade eight exam and get that distinction. You wanna do this because it's um, gonna save you lots of time, lots of effort, and you're gonna love the process and really maximize the learning that you've done so far. So when looking for a teacher, look for someone who's a music college graduate, someone who's ideally uh, qualified to a master's of music and solo piano performance level or FRSM, Fellowship of the Royal Schools of Music. These are the highest uh, qualifications that you can actually um, get in music. Um, and these are, the, these are the people that have been really well trained and are really going to know how to, to teach you to get the most out of piano and to get the most out of grade eight. If you can find a teacher like this locally, fantastic, well done you, that is absolutely brilliant. For most of you watching, that may not be an option. And this is where online learning has absolutely revolutionized um, education. So if you'd like to book a lesson, then please uh, click the link in the description below. And if you're currently on your computer, then get out your phone and scan the QR code that's just about to come up. In the link, you'll also get access to my free ebook, How to Pass Grade 8 Piano with Distinction, which talks about what we've done today in just a lot more detail. So I hope you find that helpful and enjoy. And if you haven't already, then please like and subscribe.